my name is Yaniv and I am going to guide you through this step-by-step -step video for deploying Forefront Client Security using System Center Configuration Manager 2007. The third thing we should do is open up the Configuration Manager console. Now that we have done that, we need to do three things in order to deploy Forefront Client Security. The first thing we should do is create a Forefront Client Security software distribution package. In order to do that, we'll go to Software Distribution, open Packages, right-click, and choose New Package. Now, we will insert all the Forefront Client Security package uh, settings. This is irrelevant and you can pick whatever you want. On the data source uh, page, what you need to do is click the package contains source files and then point to the share you have created earlier that contains the Forefront Client Security setup files for the client. On the update uh, distribution points on schedule you may select what it is that you want uh, I prefer selecting every six hours since my package updates itself with uh, newly created definitions about two times a day so you can select that or just not click it at all then you need to click next on the data access, you don't have to uh, configure anything. You just click finish and the package is created. Now click close. The next thing we should do after creating the package is to configure a distribution point. To do that, we'll go to the distribution point section now we right click distribution points and click new distribution point on this screen what you need to do is only to uh, select the proper distribution point you wish to use in order to distribute the full fun client security package after you select it you click next and close the last phase in creating our package is uh, creating the program. In order to do that we'll go to programs, new and select program. Now we type all the relevant information and under the command line uh, we type the client setup exe with its variables which means CG for uh, the management group that should be forefront client security unless you changed it and MS for uh, distribution server that you've installed collection server on uh, the next thing we should do is uh, change the run type to hidden in order to not disturb other users that uh, that will install this package then click next on the requirements page we need to change the estimated disk space to 315 megabytes which is the minimum disk space required in order to install forefront client security by the user guide and on the platforms uh, we should only check those that are relevant for our deployment in our case we are deploying an, an x86 version of the client agent and therefore we will only select uh, x86 platforms notice that, that I don't select all x86 Windows 2000 and all, and all x86 Windows XP since uh, Forefront Client Security can only run on Windows 2000 Service Pack 4 and 
Windows XP Service Pack 2 and above. Now we click next. On the environment we should change it uh, to whether or not user is logged on and this changes it to uh, run with administrative rights. Please pay attention that you need to configure your software installation account in order for this to work. Uh, if you need more information about this, please uh, refer to the SCCM guidance. On the advanced, we don't have to configure anything, we just click next, same as in Windows Installer and Mom Maintenance. Then we click next again on the summary page and we close. Now we've completed the first phase which is creating the package. The second phase we need to do is create a task sequence in order to uh, sequence our uninstall for the previous antivirus solution that we currently have and then install the Forefront Client Security. In order to do that we'll open Operating System Deployment and Task Sequences. We will right click task sequences and select new task sequence. On the new task sequence wizard we will choose create a new custom task sequence. Give it a name. And select a boot image. And since we're deploying an x86 version, we will select an x86 boot image. Then we click finish. After creating the task sequence, we will need to edit it by right clicking the task sequence itself and choosing edit. Now what we will do is add tasks to our task sequence. Our first task will be adding the uninstall script. What we need to do is add general run command line. Give it a name, let's say uninstall xxx antivirus and give the command line that refers to the uninstallation script that removes antivirus solution. In our case it will be on this share After finish, we click apply, and this sets up this task. The next thing we will do is add the uh, Forefront Client Security Deployment Packet we've just created, and we'll do that by clicking Add General Install Software. Change the name to Install SES Client. Click Install Single Application, and select our Forefront Client Security Package. After doing so, we click Apply, and we have created our task sequence. Now we click OK, and after we've created a task sequence, the last phase we need to do is distribute this task sequence. In order to do that, we will right-click this task sequence we've created, and choose Advertise. We will choose a collection to which we want to distribute the task sequence. In my case, I choose all systems. You can choose whatever collection you've created in your uh, SCCM. And then I click Next. On the schedule, of course, you and every one of you will choose the schedule he finds fit for his organization. I usually prefer as soon as possible. On the distribution points, it doesn't really matter, I usually like to work with access content directly from a distribution point, but it will work either way. On the interaction, there is no need to check anything because we don't want the users to interact with this task sequence. And just click next, next, and close. And that is it, you've just deployed Forefront Client Security and uninstalled your previous antivirus solution using System Center Configuration Manager 2007.